Hi, this is Alex from the customer service aid. The software changes today? this. Thank you. Let me check on the status of your order. To this. Please give me a minute to check on that. Palo Alto startup Santa says it's using artificial intelligence to make calls to call center representatives easier to understand. And to get the conversation away from how we speak to what we say. But I think it's very problematic. The blowback has been quick and brutal. Some critics thank saying Santa's is taking voices like rich with accents and address. cultures. I'm so sorry about the mix up. And what making them sound more white. This does not counteract the, the, the bias. It feeds into it. It basically reaffirms that everyone should speak in a certain particular way rather than uh, tries to help people learn that it doesn't matter if somebody has an accent. Santa CEO Marty Sarum, who worked in and built call centers himself, says that's just not true. Certain articles where, you know, we're trying to make people sound white. Well, I'm not white. My founders aren't white. You know, 87% of our company is not white. We're not building a white program. This this software, this ability to do this will work in many countries and many cultures. How are you today? The goal, he Thank says, you. is to help call center yourself. workers That's keep their jobs by so creating clearer that. communication and help companies do television. more business and it faster. To... I don't want to use this call to teach you about my culture, how I pronounce things, and how I react to things. I need this business to be done. This this phone call has to be as short as possible because somebody else is waiting in the queue. And this is this is the look at it from a purely business perspective. That's a fascinating debate when you look at it on its face because we're seeing the founder there who is ethnic, but it sounds, people are saying, well, it sounds like you're whitewashing accents and they're saying, hey, this is a business financial decision. So right. how likely are people to uh, accept that narrative and what else can the, can the company do? It's a couple of big questions, Jessica. I think some people will accept it. A lot of people, he says, and the reason for this company software is because a lot of people call the call centers and get frustrated yeah. and hang up and criticize the people on the other end who are just right. trying to help you with your product yeah, yeah. or your refund or whatever it is. And he says there's a lot of stress there they're trying to ease. The artificial intelligence going forward, this is a company that has a lot of venture capital funding behind it right now, could do a lot of things in a positive way as far as clearing things up, but this controversy is going to be around. They're talking movies, they're talking accents based on where you live, so if you're in the South, you'll hear that accent. If you're from the Midwest, you'll hear that accent. Anything to make things more comfortable for you. But again, we've already seen deep fakes with video. If you add audio to that, it's going to confuse a lot of people come political season. So we really have to keep an eye on this stuff. We are in a very, very difficult landscape right now, and technology plays such a role in it can be for good or bad. All right, thank Absolutely. you, Scott. You bet.